everyone, this video is for all of my rodeo queening contestants and rodeo queens. As you guys know, I have been working on my dad's ranch a lot lately and we have been helping a lot of rodeo queen contestants and they need help with makeup. So this video is dedicated to them, but of course you can go ahead and use this makeup for any time. This is rodeo makeup, so there is more powder being used and setting spray. If you are interested, keep on watching, but do keep in mind that the products that I use are not necessarily what you have to use. You can also use products that are like drugstore or higher end or whatever you feel comfortable with, but this is typically the colors that I would be using and the style of makeup. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start off with the eyes and I suggest using an eyeshadow primer. I would use the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the MAC Paint Pot. This is in Painterly and both these options are really good. The MAC Paint Pot does cover more of the veins and it does hold the eyeshadow all day so if you're looking for more of that option then go that route but this Urban Decay Primer Potion is amazing and it holds the eyeshadow all day long. So those are two options that I would suggest since you are going to be out in the heat you do want to use a primer of some sort. Today I am going to be using the Urban Decay's Primer Potion we are going to start off with eyes first because if there's any eyeshadow fallout we're going to want to be able to clean that up and not have it be messy on our already prepped face. For eyeshadow palettes, I have a few options here. You're going to want to get some neutral browns, some neutral to warm tone browns. And that is because brown looks good on basically every skin tone. Some palette options are the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow. This one has a great range of colors and some great browns. Now with the more higher end stuff, this is the Urban Decay's Naked 2 Basics palette. These are more cool tone browns. It is a nice selection and it will work. And lastly, this is the Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow palette by Bare Minerals. This one does have more cooler tones, but this shade right here is so unique and so pretty that it warms up the look and just it's just a beautiful palette. For today I am going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Sultry Nights Palette and I'm going to take this peachy shade first and apply it all over my eyelid for the eyeshadows to blend better since I do have that primer potion on. This just helps everything blend smoothly. We're just doing this from the eyelid clear up to the brow bone. I just used a big fluffy brush. Next, I am taking this angled brush and it is a little dense, but it still has enough movement for blending. I'm gonna take this into this taupey brown shade and I'm just placing this in the crease, working it in there and blending it out. I'm going to take a tapered brush. This is a tapered ruby crease brush and it has enough movement to blend out but this beautiful pointed edge for packing things in the crease and getting it nice and precise. You could also do like on the cheaper version an elf crease brush. So I'm just going to take that darker warm chocolatey brown, tap off the excess and I'm just going to place this in the outer part of the crease, tap it onto the outer part of my eyelid to create some dimension. So I'm just patting with my brush and then I do little small circular motions and then windshield wiper motions to help blend everything out. You don't want any harsh lines, so really blend. 
And then this, I'm just going like back and forth. Now for the daytime horsemanship, I would take this pink, this shimmery pink, pop it on the other half of my eyelid, just like this. And then blend it out with my finger, just going back and forth between that brown and the shimmery shade that we just placed. Just like that. And just like that. Finish the rest of your face, foundation, concealer, all that good stuff. Then you can lightly line your eyes, pop on some mascara, and you'd be good to go. Moving on to the speech and modeling portion, you're going to want to darken it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna take that same tapered brush to go into that black very, very lightly. Tap off the excess and just place it right on that outer edge. Now black can get out of control very fast. Work with it, practice your makeup. Don't take too much. You can always put more on if you have to and just work with it, blend it, just enough to give it some definition and to draw some attention to the eyes. The same on this side and just pat, pat, pat. And then start blending. And I'm sorry for all the excess noise. Got Millie, which is my dog in my beauty room and my husband is home and I have no idea what he's doing. Sounds like he's in the kitchen. So that is all the excess noise. Next, I'm going to take this very pretty copper shade. And I'm just using my ring finger and patting this on. And then I'm going to take just my middle finger and work that black in with that copper, just going back and forth. Just helps it blend seamlessly. Then I'm going to take the taupey brown mixed with some of that warmer brown and just work it on these edges to make sure that everything looks good and to kind of warm up the look a little bit more because we don't want that black taking over we just want a little bit of it then taking the big fluffy brush that we used earlier and that same skin toned color and i'm just popping it on the brow bone and this helps blend everything together as well i'm using the mac prep and prime natural radiance base you can also use a mattifying primer if you are more oily. Um, the Smashbox primer is really good for that. The primer is going to help your makeup stay on your face better. It helps control oils if you're more oily and you're using a mattifying primer. Or if you have more dry skin and you use a radiant primer. Next I'm going in with the Jane Iredell Glow Time BB Cream and this is what I use for foundation. It has an SPF in it and you do have to be careful with SPF because it can give you flashback. I have found that this one does not give me flashback. Um, flashback, if you don't know, is when you take pictures and since you are going to be in the spotlight and getting pictures taken, be very careful with SPF. Flashback is when it whitewashes your face and it makes you look super bright and it's just, it's not a good look. So be very careful with that. Use a foundation that will stay on all day that you know is going to last through the heat. Um, this is a good one. I would also suggest the Estee Lauder Double Wear or the Revlon Color Stay. I'm taking a Real Techniques sponge and I'm just blending this out. I would suggest using a sponge over a brush just because the sponge really helps to press the foundation into your skin and really helps it to stay all day. The Real Techniques sponge is really good so I would go ahead and pick that one up. You can also use a beauty blender. Um, I haven't really tried other sponges because 
this one is amazing so this is the one that I recommend and it is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Make sure that you are working this into your hairline so everything looks nice and blended and nice and smooth. Do not forget to go down your neck and jawline because you do not want to look like you're wearing a mask. You want it to all blend seamlessly. Next up is concealer, and I am using the Tarte Shape Tape. A little bit of this goes a long way, and this concealer is absolutely amazing. It is a full coverage concealer, and you're going to want to do it in all the places that we would want to highlight, where the, the sun, and I'm not talking about highlight as in like an illuminator, I'm talking about where the sun naturally hits. So put your concealer on in a triangle shape like this. It really helps with bags under your eyes and just evening and brightening everything up. So blend it out in a triangle shape like this. Okay, and I'm just hitting the top of the cupid's bow with whatever is left on my sponge from under my eyes. And make sure your sponge, I don't know if I mentioned this, but make sure your sponge is damp. Make sure that you don't have any creases under your eyes. Pat those creases out. Make sure you don't have creases in your forehead. And I'm going to take a loose setting powder. This is Laura Mercier's setting powder and it is amazing. You have to work quick. You don't want any creases. Pat them out. Pat them out. Pat them out. Okay, just taking this loose setting powder. This is the one that I would suggest. It is an amazing setting powder and helps lock everything in and stay all day. And I do use the end of my sponge and I press it in because it really helps to lock everything in and set it in place. And that is what we are all about. And I'm just gonna take this all over my face. This is going to help make it so it doesn't crease and settle into fine lines. It will just it really makes everything look smooth and seamless and lock the foundation in no matter what. Now that we have done that, we're looking a little bit flat. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. I'm going to be taking this middle shade and this farther end shade right here. And we're going to lightly contour. So you're going to find your cheekbones and a way to do that is to go Like that, do the fishy face where you would find the cheekbone right there. Do a curved up motion. Again on the other side. And then you can blend it out. And when you blend it, make sure you're blending up and not down because that will just make your face look more like sunken in and it won't look correct. So blend up and into the hairline a little bit so that way it all matches and blends. Now we're also going to take it on the forehead right up here. Swirl that into the hairline Also on the sides and the temple and connect that right there from the cheekbone. I'm just doing circular motions with my brush. 
it helps blend everything out. But we're also going to take it like this. It's like a three. So this and this. Just run it very lightly along the jawline. We're just creating a shadow type of a thing and giving it more dimension. So this is going to carve out your jawline and make it look more chiseled and cut, just more prominent. Now, if you want to contour your nose, you can go ahead and contour your nose. I would take a little brush like this, dab it into this middle color. And for me, I just like to round out the bottom of my nose a little bit more. You don't have to do this. It's just something that I do that I find it makes me feel more confident. Take a big brush like this and blend it out. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the bronze bronzer shade. There's a light bronzer and then the bronzer. And I'm just using the bronzer shade. So I'm just going to lightly go over where we put that contour color. Just very lightly. Then for blush, I'm using this Tarte blush. This is in the shade Quirky. And the same brush that I applied the bronzer with. This is just an Ulta Beauty cheek brush. And for blush, it really does depend on your skin tone, but any kind of rosy pink will look good. And what I'm doing is just patting it on and just kind of doing that same cheek motion, with that U shape, but just up a little higher. So this is the cheekbone that we chiseled out. And then up here is the top cheekbone that I am doing that U shape on again. And then you can also smile and get those apples of the cheeks, just like that. I'm going to take that contour kit again and go in that banana shade. Go under my eyes with it, like this, in a triangle shape. Just like so. Down my nose, on my forehead. on my chin and above my cupid's bow and also you can do it right there as well right here as well back to the eyeshadow i know this is a lot but when you're not talking it doesn't take as long as it's taking me i'm gonna go ahead and go into that brown go on my lower lash line blend it out taking a little smudger brush and I'm going into that black, tap off the excess and line the lower lash line again with that black, tap off the excess and line the lower lash line. I don't go all the way into the inner corner. I leave that open. It creates more of an open eye effect. Okay, and then take that tapered blending brush and blend it out. This cool toned sparkly shade and pop it right in the inner corner and that also gives a more awake, wide-eye effect. 
I'm going to quickly line. I'm using the Ulta Beauty's Micro Felt Tip Liner. I just line my lash line. You can stop right there with it, but I like to do a tiny bit of a wing because on my eye shape, it helps it to look a little more wide-eyed. I went ahead and put on some mascara off camera. This is the Ulta Beauty's Ultimate Lashes Multitasking Mascara in Jet Black. Just applied that. Then I went ahead and applied the Lash Liner System Magnetic Eyeliner because I am going to be putting on falsies. I would suggest either buying these types of lashes, some false lashes. These magnetic eyelashes stay put, so I would recommend these or getting some eyelash extensions. These are the Los Angeles style magnetic eyelashes from the Lash Liner System, and they are super easy to apply. They are magnetic and the, they apply onto the magnetic eyeliner. And I tested these babies out and they do not go anywhere. When there's any type of wind or anything like that, I will link that video for you guys if you want to see that and see how I tested them out. So just like that, boom, done, quick, easy, and beautiful highlighter. I'm using the Becca champagne pop highlighter and I'm just placing this right on my cheekbone. I don't need to go too far in. Like don't drag it in down here. Just right a little pop right in there. Blend it out. Just a little pop. And I would suggest not highlighting the nose now for eyebrows, I just use this Browed Fine and Fill Duo. I already have naturally thick eyebrows, but if you don't, just fill them in a little bit. I just kind of line them under like this and a little on the top as well. Just like so. And I brush down blend that powder, brush down, brush down, and then back up. And I set them in place with the e.l.f. brow gel. I don't overdraw or overline. Um, if you do that's and that's your thing, then go ahead and you're good at it, then go ahead and do that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't suggest doing that, but do what you're comfortable with. I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trophy Wife. So for lips, I typically try to keep it close to a natural, more mauve color. Um, keep it more natural to your lips and your lip tone, just a shade or two darker. This is the Rimmel London Intense Color Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. This is in the color Wish Upon a Berry. So as you can see, it is more of a berry toned, mauve pretty pink. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I go ahead and apply the setting type of gloss. You don't have to apply it, but it does make it more comfortable. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on this Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss, the shade Citrus 4. And I just place this on the center of my lip, causing it to look, my lips to look more cooler than they are. Then lastly, to lock it all in, I would use a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. I just put it into this random air repair bottle so I could travel with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face um, a few times and then let that dry and that should lock it all in. We are all done with the queening makeup. 
this is what I would do for speech and modeling. And if I won the competition, then this would basically be the face that I would do every single time that I had to be in a rodeo or I had to be in a parade or something along those lines. Typically, I would be doing my makeup while my hair was in hot rollers, but since I am doing a separate video on that, I thought I would just leave my hair be for right now. If you are in a rodeo queening contest, good luck girls. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like it and subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.